Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to explain to you what Hostinger WooCommerce hosting is. WooCommerce, if you have never heard of this or you need a refresher on what this is, WooCommerce is essentially a WordPress plugin that allows you to take your regular WordPress website and turn it into an e-commerce store with e-commerce functionality where you can list, sell and ship products. So I'm going to explain in this video where Hostinger comes in and if you actually need Hostinger hosting for your website. Now the first thing to note, and this is something that people often don't understand or have misconceptions around, and this is the fact that both WordPress and WooCommerce are completely free. And this is why we have a difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Because the actual tool of WordPress is open source, it's completely free to use and build your website. So you can come over to WordPress.org right here, we can click get WordPress, and then you can download WordPress onto your device, open WordPress on your computer and start building out your store. However, when you build your website on WordPress, if we go from wordpress.org, what this means is it's going to download onto your computer, you can build on your computer, but you can't put it onto the internet. To put your website live on the internet and actually allow traffic to go to your website, you need something called hosting. Hosting is essentially the server that your website lives on and being on a server allows people to connect to your website and access your website. So this is where wordpress.com comes in because wordpress.com is actually going to allow you to purchase the hosting to put your website live on the internet. The downside to wordpress.com though is it's very, very expensive. We can see right here, if we want to pay yearly, we can see that if we want the WooCommerce plan, this is £36 per month. So maybe in dollars, this is probably closer to $40. And this is if we pay yearly. If we pay monthly, this is going to go up to $60 to get the WooCommerce hosting right here. So the reason that Hostinger is so popular and so many people use it to host their website is because it is super cheap in comparison to WordPress.com. And on top of this, you actually don't lose out on any features. Now, I will leave a link in the description to Hostinger that will take you directly over to the WooCommerce hosting area. And this is also going to allow you to get the best deals and discounts. So what we can do once you are on this page is we can click on claim deal and down here, these are the plans for the WooCommerce hosting or hosting. So you can see we start off at $3.99 per month and this is going to give us access to the full WooCommerce functionality at a much, much cheaper price. Essentially, the main difference between these plans right here is going to be the amount of monthly visits that you get to your website. So if you have less than 100,000, you can go with business. If you have between 100 and 200,000, then go Cloud Startup. And if you have between 200 and 300,000, then Cloud Professional. If you are wondering, like, is 300,000 going to be enough? Like, this is the top limit right here. What if I go over 300,000? That is going to be very unlikely. And just to show you this, we have Kylie Cosmetics, which is an absolutely huge e-commerce brand. This got 450,000 monthly visits last month. So as a smaller e-com brand, even if you plan on growing and scaling, when we compare this to a huge global brand like Kylie Cosmetics, you are never going to run into the issue of going over this maximum monthly visit. In the unlikely scenario that you do, you can get in contact with Hostinger and they will work out a separate plan for you. Uh, aside from that, some other differences between this is, as we can see, all of these plans have fully managed WooCommerce. You have access to all of the features. Uh, the only difference right here is going to be AI. So with this business plan right here, you don't get access to the AI content creator, the troubleshooter or the assistant, but these really aren't necessary. So if you do have under 100,000 monthly visits, I recommend just going with this lowest plan. The final thing that I will explain about Hostinger right here is when you choose a plan, it's very important as to which plan you choose because the pricing is massively different. As an example, if we go monthly, this is the only plan that I don't recommend because this becomes pretty expensive. It's still nowhere near as expensive as WordPress.com. Uh, if we go pay monthly right here, this is like $60 per month, but it's still like $14 per month plus an initial $5 setup fee. Whereas if we flick this to the yearly plan and we pay for this yearly, this goes down to $3.99 per month and this is for the first year. So you pay 12 months upfront at an average of $3.99 per month. And then after that 12 month period, it's then going to renew at $12 per month. 
So there's really no point in buying monthly. I mean, we can pay monthly right here and pay $20 for a single month, or we can go to 12 months and pay 50 for an entire year. That being said, if you know that you will have your website in the long run for the next two to four years, then the 24 and 48 months give you fantastic value. Because if we go to 24 months, well, you get the average price of $3.99 for the full two years. And then after that two years, it renews it even cheaper at $9.99 per month. And then for 48 months, we can see we get $3.99 for an entire four years. And then after that, it renews at $8.99 per month after the four years. So this is why Hostinger is so popular because we can host our website and host our WooCommerce plan for an entire four years for just $200. Whereas with WordPress, let's say we pay monthly, we're going to be getting what, four to five months of hosting for the same price. Once you have purchased your hosting, Hostinger will then run you through step by step and show you how to set up your WordPress account. Now, once you have your WordPress account, all we need to do to actually install WooCommerce is this is the WordPress dashboard. We simply go down here to plugins and then add new plugin. And then in the plugin store, we simply go here and search for WooCommerce, just like this. And then once WooCommerce pops up right here, as I said, WooCommerce is going to be free. So we can see WooCommerce, we just click on install now. And this is now installing WooCommerce onto WordPress. So we just wait until this has finished installing and then we can click on activate. And now WooCommerce has been activated. I can see it over here on my WordPress dashboard. So we can click in, we can set up the store right here and go through and set up WooCommerce. So that is my explanation of hosting or WooCommerce hosting. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.